Alright, well. I guess we have to walk in for now. About nine o'clock. Just gonna hang out, kind of see what uh, what the boys do. I know uh, Josh is not an early riser, so uh, I guess I'm checking about ten o'clock. See what they're doing. Um, so for now, just gonna go through camera stuff, make sure everything's charged and ready for tonight, and then uh, see what the day has for us. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna get my second workout done. The indoor one, they have a gym here. So I'm gonna get it done before the day gets away from me. Um, and I'll, I'll be good, just gotta watch what I eat today, so. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, <laughs> it's a gym, right? By definition, because it has workout equipment in it. I'll just ride a bike for a while. That'd be fine. You do some pull-ups or stuff too. Oh, they had waters here? Bummer. All right, we'll get this done. All right, just got done. Second workout is complete. Reading is done. First workout complete. Pitcher is done. And I just need to drink two more bottles of water. By the way, this stuff, this body armor water, Oh, that's good stuff. I think Josh just got back to the motor home. So he had to take it over. He took it over to a buddy's house. Again, this is hometown, so he knows people. He had to take it to a buddy. Um, something with the fuses in the front, like the shades aren't working, the wipers don't work, nothing. Uh, so he took it over there to get um, checked out really quick. He's done. I'm going to hop in the shower really quick. We're going to go to this deli, grab some food, and see where the day takes us. Yo. Hey, honey bun, I'm down here if you want us to wait on you. I'm actually spying on you out the window. Is that that Josh Mountain Boy? Woo! Alright, I'll see you in a minute. Alright. Alright. Good? Shower? Shave? I don't know, it says it might rain later. We'll see. Of course, this guy's got pants and a jacket on. He sincerely supports the troops and stuff. You hungry? Yeah. Best sandwiches in town. Yeah. Wow, that really is not that long of a time period in between the buy and sell either. 1831 to 1871. 63 bucks to 13,000. Purchase to 13,000. We were just talking, it's crazy coming to these little towns and you see these little main streets, you start to appreciate. That was, that's a big change right there. Yeah. From 1830 to be 60 bucks and then I'll go all the way to <laughs> so 17,000 in 1900. All right, so they are, they're actually checking into a different hotel tonight. I'm gonna stay at my same one. Um, they're over here at the Drury, a little, I don't know where this, I don't know where I'm at right now, honestly, but they gotta get checked in really quick. We gotta get over to the fairgrounds for, um, I think they're doing sound check around two. But I think the sound guy is in there. So this is always this is always fun to watch all this stuff kind of come together. So we're going to run over there. We're going to get in there. Um, they'll do their sound check. They have like a merch table they're going to set up and all this. I think someone said 5,000 5, in attendance. That's big. And wouldn't you know, it looks gorgeous outside right now. 
But do not let that fool you because I guess rain is coming in now. So Josh made a couple calls and actually had it moved indoors. We were gonna be outdoors in like the infield, like a traditional fair. Like it's kind of cool, like playing the infield, like how awesome would that be? So they moved indoors. They got plenty of buildings and stuff. So it'll be indoors just in case it does rain. Uh, so that'll be fun. I'm excited. I'm excited to see a county fair, like especially one of these small towns, like. 54th National Tractor Pulling Championship. Like, that is where we are. We are in small town USA. I love these small towns because Ohio, Ohio gets a bad rap sometimes, let's be honest, right? But when you come to these smaller towns, and it doesn't have to be Ohio, it could be anywhere, Kentucky, Tennessee, what, what, whatever you wanna call it. You come to these small towns and you find such an appreciation for it. Almost like going back in time a little bit, but there's a lot to appreciate about it. Just the small cafes that are still going and just, seeing those buildings that have changed so many hands from like a women's store to a shoe store to a boot repair store to to who knows what but all the way from 1830 to now it's so cool to see the history and i don't know it just helps appreciate it so it's fun always getting around to see these kind of places and just see something new so all right they're checked in we're gonna head over to the fair Good, we, got, we got the packs there's some white flags over here do you see that the white flag? sounds like you just Yourself, dude. <laughs> Don't make fun of my diet right now, bro. <laughs> Messed up. So we just got to the fairgrounds. They're doing. They're gonna start their sound check. I should probably go look around. I love. Ca Unfortunately, 75 hard is restricting my diet, so there's no fair food in my future. But I still love a good county fair. purposely through all the food just to just to fight the temptation just to grow myself this is why we sound check early because if we wouldn't sound check early we'd be staring at a thousand people right now doing this so that's why we sound check early a little bit of a little bit of drama it's kind of fun drama amongst the artists i guess the sound guy wasn't here and now they're upset that they want to do a sound check still because it's getting kind of close on time but it's just it's the way it always runs It's only one years old and it weighs 20 pounds. We got a new pig. feel like a pack mule right now and really just 
having a weighted vest in your luggage bag, plus the camera bag with all the lenses, it really weighs you down. It was a good trip. It's a little wet. Good trip. It's hometown crowd. There was, the people that were there, they showed up. They had a blast. Uh, it's a, it's gotta be fun to come home and play for the people that, that raised you and you know saw you kind of go through all the steps and make your way to Nashville. So it's fun, it was good. Absolutely beautiful weather today. Labor Day weekend has just been amazing this year, uh, temp-wise and weather-wise. So nothing to complain about. Um, Gonna head home. We got a two hour drive to where I left the car. Another three three hours and 45 minutes or so um, to get home from there. Meet up with Babs. We'll get an outdoor walk in, our second workout. Overall, good weekend. Good weekend.